I was married once. Harold Austin Meyer. He was a beautiful man. He was a beautiful, beautiful man. I had everything. And I wanted for nothing. Until that day, he was taken from me.
last one. No one's been in or out for three days. No lights, no cars, nothing. I still think we should wait. You said you would do this for me. You really gonna back out now? No. I just think we should come back later. Like tonight. People are home at night, Ronnie. We've already been through this. But if no one's been around for three days, then what's the difference? Why are you doing this? These people have everything and it means nothing to them. So what? You want me on my knees scrubbing their floors for the rest of my life? Or you want to take care of me like you said you would? I want to take care of you. I just don't You don't think need that. you don't need to think. We have to do this. I need a man in my life, Ronnie. A man who's gonna provide for me. You are that man, aren't you, baby? No turning back, okay? See you. But I can feel your eyes on me. You're staring, aren't you? You're wondering. I'm curious. What's it like to open your eyes and see nothing but darkness? Or are you curious about other things? When I go out, do people pity me? Treat me differently? Am I lonely? Am I less of a human being? Less of a woman? Tell me. What do you see? Tell me. What do you see? Do you see a woman? I ain't no freak, lady. <laughs> <laughs> but the, um, the one thing I actually am curious about is where you keep the valuables. You think you can tell me that? I wasn't always blind. I really don't give a shit, lady. I was married once. Harold Austin Meyer. He was a beautiful man. A beautiful, beautiful human being. everything and I wanted for nothing I was the picture of perfect health until I became violently ill 18 months ago days turned into weeks and to months and I was bleeding from my nose and my eyes and my 
when I was dying. And if it was going to happen, it was going to happen at home. And this is where my Harold brought me. <laughs> okay, enough is enough. We're going to have to see a doctor. Okay? Oh my gosh, Eleanor. He tried to take care of me. It was too much for him. Eleanor, you have to eat. If you don't eat, you won't get well. And if you have no plans on getting well, then there's no point in me being here. If you want to give up, just tell me and I'll leave. But remember, Eleanor, you're not just giving up on yourself, you're giving up on Harold too. He's all I have left. And you should fight for him. You can beat this. And I can help you. I was dying. I fell into a coma. And that was supposed to be it. But it wasn't. When I woke up, my Harold was gone and my whole world with him. Well, I feel sorry for you, lady. I do. But there's no sense in telling me any of this. Oh, but there is. See, one would expect you to at least open your eyes and to look. You just look! Enough! <laughs> Enough! I'm not playing anymore! Just look at the pictures. You're curious now, aren't you? You see, this isn't my house, is it?
scared the hell out of me. What? You said all of this would work. You said it would be painless, fast, and traceless. That's what you told me. That's what you said. Yeah, I said quick. I didn't know about pain. If you had administered the doses like I told you, then I'd be playing nurse for you instead of that bitch. That's not fair. Don't... Don't say that. Don't say that. You said you wanted this. To get away, start a new life. More than anything. So, let's just do our best to comfort her in her final days. Okay. But... No more pain. Okay? Just no more pain. No more pain. You see it now? Can you imagine Harold and her plotting and scheming to poison me all that time? Harold's not my Harold anymore. You should see what I did to him. Better yet, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking so long? Come, come. I hear you. 